stopped. He's adjusting his cap. Here he comes. Yes, he's got a bit of up and down. Yep, we're getting there. Way big air. Big air from bottom. Step back in. Just move your head forward now, Andy. Just move your head forward. This, this could be very incriminating. Just get on with it, Matheson. Now here we have a picture of Rob with his faithful servant Andy, yet again fagging on Rob, while Rob declares his latest two no, purchases. Also, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. now he's on the great ski god Alan Steele's rental skis, and he's got to either declare these rubbish or yet again his prospective next purchase. Yet again, the angry. Oh look, and now Andy's handing him his poles like the faithful, surly servant he is. Oh, he's got to go gloveless. Is he ready for it? Here, borrow, borrow me bloody gloves, Rob. Right. Jesus. Uh, Christ Almighty! In a minute, yeah, I want. Got some underpants. He would do borrow. Dian, what's your? I'm small. Dian. Well, Alan's got. <laughs> Dian, say right. I've got small underpants. You can borrow them too. You can, you can borrow Alan's small underpants. Right, Rob. I'll just freeze me conkers off while I take the underpants what's off this? here. It's what's me bloody. It's me heat pad, man. Hey. Get on with it. Right. I think right. he's ready for launch off. <laughs> As we say in France, Rob, au revoir, if au not revoir. goodbye. Say something for the camera, Rob. Say something. Yeah. I will do. Well, I've had 14 days of skiing now. And um, considering what an athlete I am, I am feeling very jaded. This is hard to believe, yeah, Rob. I know, but I don't feel I don't feel tired in my legs. My whole body is jaded. You don't think your reputation as the angry pensioner is going to be ruined by this confession? Well, it depends on the video footage that's been taken uh, yeah. during the last few hours. Yeah. Um, I mean, it could be tied into some well, top, top sort of e uh, Rob E6, E7, Lake could, District Classic. It could. Just it to show could. that you're versatile. I mean, Hazel Finley's been skiing. Has she? And, yeah, she's been skiing. So maybe uh, if I send her some of the clips, she'll realise what could be done. Has she done much? Practice. Has she done much on plastic? Uh, I don't yeah. think she has done much on plastic. No, she's uh, she's quite a trad girl. I'm quite proud yeah. of her, really, even though I don't know her. Right. And uh, she's she's very very small and has to use lots of intermediates apparently. What about have you got any parting shots on uh, our mate Burkett and his climbing career? Dave. Yeah. Well, the trouble is with Dave. He's peaked. He has peaked and um, he's on his way down, and he's finding it very hard to come to terms with that, <laughs> especially when he sometimes climbs with me and I'm on my way up. Right, so have you had to offer him any counselling on this Yeah, matter? yeah, a little bit. I've had some little quiet chats with him. Right. And, um, you know, he, he, I think he's benefited from it. You're right. We couldn't um, get in an advert for Inglesport here, could we? This will have been Ingles in the Inglesport Cafe, will well, it? Well, I've, uh, I've actually dropped hints to people that have been skiing with for the past two weeks. Yeah. That Inglesport has an excellent website. All right. And, in fact, very, very competitive prices. <laughs> Particularly for ice screws. Right. Uh, They're very useful down caves, aren't very, they? Very, very useful, yes. Yeah. Ice screws um, going cheap at Inglesport, I said. Right. But it's worth, it's a very um, user friendly site. Right. And um, it's the latest technology. Yeah. Um, and, uh, the, and I've heard the blog is very good. The blog's good. That's all I want to say at the moment.